Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a natural hair. And eh, scratch that. No, we're not. We're going to be doing a hair tutorial, but it's protective styling. Um, I'm going to be doing a braidless crochet half up, half down hairstyle. This is my first time trying braidless crochet. So... Y'all gonna get my real reaction if I like it or not. But I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you guys because my last couple of videos it's been my girls still in the shine. Like I'ma let them be great. But whatever. If you wanna look at oh, 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 oh. Disclaimer. I'm a bald head scalloway. Ain't got no hair in the back. Like seriously um for those that follow me on instagram you know i cut my hair back in july just so y'all know that's the thing i know her no it's growing out it's growing out and actually i like it because it got like this little tapered effect but no we still gonna protect it because it's cold out here in these kansas streets so if you would like to see the style or the tutorial stay tuned and i see you at the end of the video mm. this lighting is great like I made my own ring light, y'all, and it is popping. Like, what's up? Hey, girl. Ooh, see? My edge is coming out the goon's nest. Starting off, we're going to have three sections. One on top that I did off camera and two in the back. For my top ponytail, I did use a goodie um, hair tie, but in the back I decided to use rubber bands because my hair is much shorter and I thought it would give me much better grip. When doing your buns, I suggest moisturizing your ends and twisting up your hair and tucking it so that your hair is being protected while doing this protective style. Okay, when you begin crocheting your buns in the back, make sure you crochet around the bun and then crochet through the bun so that the buns can be covered and they're not peeking through the hair. When crocheting the hair on your top bun, make sure you follow the same steps as you did in the back. Crochet around the bun and make sure you crochet through the bun so you can cover the top bun and it's not peeking through.
Hey y'all. So I just wanted to come in and show y'all real quick the, the final the final final look. I couldn't get that out for to save my life. Um, but the most difficult part for me was covering my top bun. And that's simply because I have color in my head, but this style is so easy. My 10 year old could probably do this style. Um, only thing I suggest when doing your two buns in the back, make sure you space them out a little bit because if you do sleep on your back, it will be uncomfortable to just sleep on those buns like right next to each other. But other than that, this is really easy to install. So if you do install it and you try it out, let a sister know, tag me on Instagram. 4C underscore Nisi and I S E Y. I'm just loving this style, y'all. It looks very, very natural. It looks very, very natural. And that's what I'm that's the look I was going for. But I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And if you felt this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Because if not, I'm judging your whole life right now. You are subscribed go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos but i thank you i thank y'all for all the love and support that y'all have been showing me since starting my channel i appreciate it and i hope to see you in the next video